Jack, congratulations to uh, both Gold Hill and Winters. Uh, great effort on your guys' part. Uh, this week, Husson came down to uh, visit us on our family weekend, our homecoming weekend. And uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of hype build up for us. Our first conference game, we were one and two at the time. And being two and two versus one and three is, uh, is a very big difference. So we knew the, uh, the weight of this one. And um, well, thankfully to say, we played probably the first total team game, uh, total team effort uh, since you know, I, I've gotten to Becker and, and I was tremendously proud of our young guys and the way they presented themselves. We had four penalties, uh, which was down from the average of nine. Uh, not one personal foul, uh, not one late hit, nothing of that nature. Um, so we've improved tremendously in that aspect. But uh, when I say a total team effort, I mean offense, defense, and special teams. And leading the way with us offensively was our passing game. Uh, Bobby Baker, our quarterback from Monroe, Connecticut, Threw for 491 yards on 30, uh, 45 attempts, 30 completions, four touchdowns, and then he had 50 yards rushing with another rushing touchdown. He had a part in all five of our scores uh, on Saturday. Uh, he's a junior. Uh, he's grown in leaps and bounds since um, last year. Uh, he's really starting to take control of our team. And uh, anybody who you know, knows football knows you need a great leader at the quarterback position in order to be successful. And it looks like Bobby has started to turn that corner, and we're very excited about where he's going. Um, you know, alongside of him, you know, uh, C.J. Bostic and Lou Sanchez both had tremendous days. Lou set the school record for receiving yards, 241 uh, receiving yards on the day, and C.J. had two touchdowns, um, both over 40 yards uh, on, on the catch. So uh, those two guys are weapons, and uh, putting them next to each other or on opposite sides of one another is very difficult. To as long as, as they keep going, we're going to be a very dangerous offense. Um, and then our offensive line played a tremendous game. Uh, gave up one sack on over 45 attempts throwing the ball. And, uh, you know, they're a young group. Uh, our starting center is a freshman. Our left tackle is a sophomore. We have only one senior on that line. And uh, they have really done a great job this season. Defensively, uh, we gave up one score on a halfback pass. Um, I got on our corner for falling asleep for one play. Uh, but if it weren't for that one play, I feel like we would have held them at zero. Uh, but they played a tremendous game up front. Melvin Booker, our inside linebacker from Roxbury, Massachusetts. And uh, Raph Martinez, a senior from uh, D lineman from Springfield, Massachusetts, had tremendous games. And uh, our defensive player of the game was Snyder St. Bill, a freshman from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Uh, forced a fumble and recovered another one four tackles for a loss. So uh, bright spots individually all over, up and down for us, but it was a total team win and something that they can really hope to build on and, and we are very excited about the direction we're going in. Um, this week we have gone out to New York Maritime, which is a team that has been a uh, perennial power. Uh, they won the conference in, in 2010 undefeated and they had a great year last year. Um, you know, doing, defending against the triple option is always a challenge, no matter how good or bad the athletes on the other side of the ball are. If you are not technically sound, it will beat you time and again. And um, you know, offensively, it's always a tough place to play, especially when you throw the ball like we do, because you can be playing in 40 mile an hour winds or, or rain and sideways. So we need to go down there ready to play physical assignment football um, and accept any challenge that they bring to us. I know our guys are excited to go to the city and, and hopefully go to an 